Hello and welcome to this edition of Culture Mosaic. I can't wait to start this edition full of exciting cultural news and events with you. Now in this edition of Culture Mosaic, when date or the Lunar New Year is drawing near, let's explore the first fooling date through spring songs by the legendary musician Van Gao. Later on in our On The Mic, let's talk to Russian duo Sister First and see how they have been covering Vietnamese songs. And finally, let's follow our guest and meet with with an artisan who has contributed to reviving the craft of making paper lotus flower in Thừa Thiên Huế province. Van Gao Spring Song recalls memories of the first fulfilling date. Russian duo Sisters First cover Vietnamese songs. Let's follow our guest and meet with an artisan who has contributed to reviving the craft of making paper lotus flower. Now let's review the highlights of the local news. More than 200 outstanding performing artists across the country, including artists of merit Sun Bak, people's artist Gong Li and actress Thu Quỳnh, gathered in a ceremony called Introducing Faces of Artists 2019, which took place in Hanoi on January the 7th. The ceremony honored artists of distinction from many fields such as music, dance, theater and puppetry. Many award-winning performances were shown again to the public, including classical and contemporary music, circus acts, dances, and chiao singing. The Hatlong International Music Festival took place in the northern province of Guangning's exhibition and fair palace from January the 10th to the 11th, the first of its kind to be held in the province. More than 150 artists and bands from Japan, Kazakhstan, China and Vietnam participated in the festival. Some of the notable names are Kazakhstan's Magic Nomads, Japan's Yushoku Hot, China's Guangxi Art Academy, Vietnam's Red River Jazz and Yellow Star Big Band, among others. In addition to a street music fair, the event included a series of other events such as indoor and outdoor music performances, workshops and a field trip. The Racing 2019 music show themed Night of Stars 2019 took place in Hanoi on Sunday. Hosted by actress and model Ngoc Ching, CEO of GHB Corporation, the event attracted more than 3,500 participants. With beautiful songs and dances performed by some of the hottest names in Vietnam's show business, including Nu Phuc Thịnh, Ho Ngoc Ha, Chi Phu and Bao Anh. The music show aims to be an inspiration for success for business people. After the success of his last date music video, Out of Mana, on the YouTube front in 2020, Just a T once again released a new date MV called Lam Zi Phải Hốt or Why So Scared, just like his previous MV. Lam Zi Phải Hốt makes a mark with the guest appearances of famous names such as singer Hoàng Thùy Linh, rapper Dan Vo, and people's artist Gong Li. Each character appears with a different look in a different situation, but all of them share the same concern about money. At the end of the year, such as late salaries, not enough cash, or don't have enough money to make MVs. After one day of release, Just the T's MV immediately entered the top trending chart on YouTube, currently charting at number three. Singer Chuk Nhân has just released his latest song Nếu Một Mai Tôi Bay Lên Trời or If One Day I'm In Heaven in English composed by songwriter Hứa Kim Tuyền. All proceeds from the song will be donated to the Heartbeat Vietnam Fund to support children with heart disease. The song features elements of folk music, a gentle melody and an emotional image. The song also appeared in the film Paper Plane from the project Scars of Life that aims to support children with heart disease, endorsed by filmmaker and producer Ngô Thanh Vân. Yêu thương người khác tôi. 
Boza or Old Man, a web drama series produced by actor Chen Thanh, has reached the number one place in YouTube's top trending chart in Vietnam with a 1 million views just after three hours of release. The film revolves around the lives of workers in an old apartment complex with the participation of many famous names such as people's artist Ngoc Zhao, veteran actor Lê Quốc Nam, Anh Đức, Lâm Vĩ Dạ, Harry Won, Trúc Nhân, Kim Thư, Trang Hí, and even Mrs. Tân Vi Recently, the Vietnam Drama Theater has debuted its first musical drama in cooperation with South Korean Aksan Theater in Hanoi. The 90-minute musical entitled Cô Gái và Chiếc Xe Máy or Girl and Motorbike is based on a Korean script. The script was penned by journalist Lee San and is inspired by his experiences in more than 10 years living and working in Vietnam. He is also editor-in-chief of the Hanoi based Korean Association magazine. The musical is directed by Hoàng Lâm Tung, featuring numerous artists from both countries. The breathtaking landscape created by imposing mountains and terraced fields in Mu Kang Chai district in Yên Bái province are worth a visit, according to CNBC, a world leader in business news and financial market coverage. In an article posted on Sunday titled, Why This Remote Jam Should Top Your 2020 Travel List, writer Monica Buchana Petrelli extolled the virtuals of the region as a series of colorful mountain villages encycled by fields of towering rice terraces. The 500 hectares of terraced fields, located in the communes of La Pantan, Che Cunha and Zhe Su Fing in Mu Kang Chai district, were also recognized as special national sites by Prime Minister Nguyen Xuân Phúc. Spring is the beginning of the year when flowers blossom and heaven and earth harmonize, revitalizing all things. Springtime nurtures optimism and brings hope to people. That's why most of Vietnamese spring songs convey cheerful, positive and happy feelings. One of the most outstanding songs that still lives on in the hearts of Vietnamese people is the first spring also known as Mùa Xuân Đầu Tiên by late musician Văn Cao. The song was written as Lunar New Year 1976 was approaching. This very special occasion marked a special date holiday when both southern and northern Vietnamese people for the first time reunited after a long time of war and division. Nhạc sĩ Văn Cao ấy, trong nhiều năm ông đi cách mạng qua cuộc kháng chiến thứ nhất rồi qua đến cuộc kháng chiến chống Mỹ cứu nước. Cái mục đích cuộc đời của ông là mong đất nước được hòa bình, mong đất nước giải phóng và trải qua rất nhiều gian khổ thì cái ngày đó nó đã đến. Rồi giật dịu mùa xuân theo em về Cuối năm 75 tôi ở trên Ba Vì tôi về. Khi tôi bước lên cầu thang ấy, thì tôi chợt nghe ở trong cái gian phòng của ông vang lên một điệu nhạc rất là trữ tình, êm đềm. Bố tôi lặng đi và bảo bố phải làm một cái bài hát gì đó để mừng cái ngày đất nước được giải phóng và mừng cái Tết đầu tiên mà cả dân tộc của mình được thống nhất, các gia đình được gặp gỡ, được tìm lại với nhau. Và bố sẽ đặt tên cái bài hát này là bài hát Mùa Xuân Đầu Tiên. Unlike victory songs and their cheerful melodies, the first spring by late musician Van Gao has gentle, slow melodies and poetic lyrics with profound meaning. The song delivers the most familiar scenes of the country embedded in the hearts of all Vietnamese people at that time. The nét đượm buồn đây là tâm trạng của Van Gao. Van Gao là một người từng trải. Ông cảm thấy rằng để có được ngày hòa bình để chịu nặng những mất mát, 
chiến thắng nên được trả một cái giá rất đắt ông đưa những cái tiếng rất là gần gũi những tiếng gà chưa những cái mà người lính khi ra đi ở chiến trường khắc khoải yêu thương và nhớ cồn cào tại sao ông gọi đây là mùa xuân đầu tiên vì chúng ta cũng có mùa xuân tất cả mùa xuân của chúng ta là mùa xuân đi đánh giặc một mùa bình thường như thế này thôi mà đến bây giờ nó mới chẳng lẽ cái ý của nó rất là sâu và bởi vậy cho nên nó rất hợp với tâm trạng của tất cả những người việt nam để mà chọn một bài hát nào đó cho cái mùa xuân thống nhất thì người ta vẫn luôn nghĩ là đến bài hát However, very few people know that the first spring had to go through ups and downs before it officially became popular and lived on in the hearts of Vietnamese people. Trong cái giai đoạn đó, nhiều những cái bài tráng ca, nhiều những cái bài hát mang tính thời sự, mang cái chất quần chúng tràn ngập trong cái không khí thống nhất. Giai điệu của cái bài hát mùa xuân, một cái giai điệu nó nhẹ nhàng, mượt mà và trữ tình với những cái lời ca giản dị, cho nên cái bài hát mùa xuân đầu tiên phần nào nó bị lắng đi có một cái lối đi hết sức là đặc biệt của cái bài hát này tức là lúc khi ấy thì cô con gái của văn cao sang liên xô để học nhạc viện cherky học piano thì cô mang cái bài hát này đi theo cô gửi cho nhà xuất bản âm nhạc moscow thì bài hát ngay lập tức được dịch ra tiếng nga là peravaya vesna nhưng khi trở về thì bài hát đó là ông văn cao mới cất vào tủ và đưa vào lãng quên năm 90, hội việt kiều ở pháp đặt tôi làm cái phim về văn cao thì lần đầu tiên bài hát đó được thu thành bởi giọng hát của ca sĩ Quốc Đông Nhưng mà cái duyên của bài hát thì nó vẫn chưa tới Năm 95, Văn Cao ra đi rồi Thì bài hát đó được hát lên bởi tam ca áo trắng ở trong miền Nam Và từ đấy đã bắt đầu lan rộng Đến khi Văn Cao mất thì người ta thấy cảm giác là có một cái gì bất mát quá lớn Thì người ta mới tìm đến Và cuối cùng 20 năm sau bài hát mới thực sự được vang lên Và nó thấm ngay vào dân tộc Việt Nam giống như quốc ca Đấy, một bài thì ra đi và một bài thì trở về through the first spring, late musician Van Gaal showcases his profound intellect and her sincere soul. He knew how to convey the deepest meaning and the value of peace by depicting daily life with very familiar scenes. The most significant implication conveyed through the songs is the humane and well-deserved victory, a victory that brought all people in the nation together and contributed to warm peace. I want to tell you con người luôn luôn mong một cuộc sống hòa bình, mọi người yêu thương nhau, tôn trọng nhau, cái mùa giản dị thôi, rất là bình thường. Nhưng để muốn đạt được cái điều này thì dân tộc ta đã tốn rất nhiều sương máu, bỏ qua hết tất cả quá khứ để chúng ta sống với nhau, hòa hợp con người với con người cùng một dòng máu cùng một đồng loại cùng một đất nước tại sao chúng ta không bắt tay nhau để cùng kiến tạo lại một đất nước trong thanh bình độc lập The magic of the unification in spring 1976 together with human love has played as the bridge to bring people together and heal the wounds caused by the war it is the humanistic message that makes the first spring live on forever among Vietnamese people. Vietnamese culture, country and people have inspired many artists and their artwork, poems and songs. For a certain Russian duo, Vietnam has drawn them to stay longer on their journey to spread the love of music and explore the world to learn more about our country. In today's On The Mic, let's meet the sisterly duo of the band Sisters First and learn about Vietnam through their eyes and listen to them cover Vietnamese songs. Singing 
Vietnamese songs fluently with passionate hearts and voices. Wearing traditional Vietnamese ao dài and using modern Western instruments to cover Vietnamese traditional songs. These are the beautiful members of the Russian duo, Sisters First. Although they've only been in Vietnam for over a year, their feelings for the edge-shaped country has motivated them to learn, discover and experience so much during their time here. Hi Sonia and Viola of the group Sisters First. It's great having you on our show. Thank you so much for inviting me. It's really our pleasure to talk with you and sing for you. Can you introduce a bit about yourself and your group? Yes, uh, well, we're Sisters First, a music band formed by us, sisters. Yeah, so My name is Sonia. My name is Viola. We're both from Russia. We're Russians, so... Yes, we're real sisters, like... And, and Sisters First, that's why it's called Have Sisters First. Have different five years between us. Well, we found Sisters First as a band in 2009. That was Sonia's dream, like she told I want so much, so I yeah. thought, okay, let's do it. And yeah, when I was little, I would always like watch all the like, big singers perform on big stage, and I was like, I want to be there, I want to do it. And then when I get a bit older, like we decided to form a band, and yeah, just like us two, we're like the no normally the front of the band, sometimes other people perform with, uh, with us as well, but Sister First is me and Viola, and yeah, and we both sing, we both play music instruments and we kind of like our roles are pretty much equal, like Sisters First cannot exist without one of us. So how long have you been living in Vietnam and what made you decide to come to Vietnam? I actually first went to Vietnam for a little time and then after that, but then after that we wanted to see more so we went to like South Korea, Malaysia, India, China. We traveled all around different places, maybe one month one country one to month another one so like really like traveling getting experience and learning different cultures and performing for people and then last year 2019 uh, yeah I was in India and uh, I was like thinking where to go next and I didn't know but then I just like I was like okay I want to listen to my heart and like like I'm open to go anywhere and I don't know why it kind of like came to me that I should come back to Vietnam because I remember it was very friendly, very open, very nice and I had really good memories about it. I was like, I should come back and try more, try again because like first time it was only first time, I want to I wanna see it again. It seems that you've covered quite a few Vietnamese songs. What made you decide to cover these songs? Every time we come to every country, we like to learn local traditions, local traditional culture. We really like to, like that's why we love traveling because we like learning about each country. And when we came to Vietnam, next second time we really wanted to kind of like understand it more and i really felt i want to sing in vietnamese and learn vietnamese music and that's why uh, this way to understand better vietnamese culture vietnamese has really really a specific like tone to it and sound and it's so beautiful and interesting so I really was like wanted to like explore it more and then i would listen also to some pop music some modern music a vietnamese one and i really liked it like i was like wow that's that's really cool so yeah, I started learning and first my pronunciation wasn't very good but then very quickly I got some like people and friends who was like, like I want to help you to how to say each word, each vowel, like big thanks for them to so that. So many people is like say, yeah, I will like for free like learn you yeah, I will teach want you. to do yeah, this yeah. and this is so much kindness from people, you know. Yeah, yeah, we're so thankful because they really like spend their time to like explain Apart from singing and covering songs, the two sisters are also multi-skill artists who can play many roles. Sonia First is a singer, songwriter, mandolinist, guitarist, pianist, model, artist and actress. While her younger sister, Viola First, is also a singer-songwriter, violinist, model, actress and blogger. Before coming to Vietnam, Sonia and Viola have been traveling around many countries to pursue their passion for arts. As I can see, you are very talented artists. You're modeling, singers and songwriters. Tell us, how did you get involved into these arts? We just do what we love. Like, Viola always wanted to be a model since childhood and kind of, she started that. And then I was like, I supported her in that and started doing it as well. And I wanted to be a singer since so childhood. My dreams yeah, now. yeah. So Sonia and Viola, you write your own songs as well, right? So are they normally in English, Vietnamese or Russian? 
Mostly in English. Viola writes something. Viola writes many poems in in Russian. But it's this part is still developing. Maybe later in life we'll translate it to music. But I mean, it's not songs. Right yeah. Now, like right now it is poems songs. in Russian that Viola writes. But maybe in in the future we'll put music on it as well. One special aspect of Sonia and Viola is their curious approach to life. The two sisters love blending in the local cultures by trying different traditional foods, meeting locals and trying new experiences such as volunteering or basking in Hwan Kim Lake. Their lives are always colorful, full of experiences and memorable activities. They share this with the world, their fans and family through a YouTube channel called Sonia with Love. So why did you decide to have your own YouTube channel, given that you are so busy with your current work? Uh, actually, Viola was first who said you should have a YouTube blog. <laughs> yeah, you said, she even doesn't remember. And I only started it, uh, when? Two years, two years ago. I started in January 2018, and I wish I would started it earlier, because I had so much stuff happening before that. But then, yeah, I started it when I was in Saigon. They all suggested to me, but I was kind of like not sure. And then I was like, yeah, I want to do it. And uh, yeah, because the reason for it, because I wanted to like kind of document, document what's happening to us, because I saw like so many things happening. And it all gets forget, forget it, you know, like, and I wanted to remember each moment. And because our life is so full and unique and unpredictable. And even now, like looking maybe some videos like two years ago, it's like you go, wow, remember we did that. And without video, you completely forget it. And that's how like I decided to do it. And then, yeah, the more I would do it when you work by doing what you love, suddenly it doesn't feel like work anymore. And you just, you feel like you don't work at all. You're just enjoying your life and doing what you like, like singing. So thank you so much, Sonia and Viola, for joining our show. Thank you so much for inviting us. Tianhui is home to various craft villages, which have contributed to forming diverse culture in Hue. In the following, let's follow our guest and meet with an artisan who has contributed to reviving the craft of making paper lotus flower and how he's helping people from all over the world to learn about the Vietnamese culture via this special craft. Tantian Village lies on the outskirts of Hue City. It's famous for the tradition of paper flowers craftsmanship handed down from one generation to the next for more than 300 years. Lian Hua Dan Tian Vien, aka the Zen Lotus Garden, is our destination today. It belongs to a renowned artisan who successfully revived the art of making paper lotus flowers that was lost about 60 years ago. Rất là vui được đón bạn ở đây để tìm hiểu về làng nghề truyền thống hoa giấy thanh tiên và chắc được mời bạn sẽ được trải nghiệm để làm ra một hoa sen như tôi này. quá. I am so excited to be able to meet him today. But even before I could learn anything from him about the craft, he challenged me with a real tricky venture. 
bạn có nghĩ là mình có thể dùng tay để xếp ra ừ. một cái hóa như được không? Yeah, tôi, yeah, tôi nghĩ mà, quá wow, nghĩ mà mà sẽ rất, rất khó lắm nha, à, có tài tứ, à, <cười> ừ. tài tứ lắm. Yeah, yeah, vì, yeah, chưa biết làm, uh, không có kinh nghiệm làm nữa. Không thể dùng tay để xếp, uh -huh. mà phải có một dụng cụ để tạo nếp. Uh, ok. Và trước mặt bạn đấy, uh -huh. đây là cái dụng cụ để tạo nếp. Yeah, yeah. bạn thấy làm như thế này công phu không công phu công phu, công phu yeah. và kinh nghiệm kinh nghiệm mm. đòi hỏi cái người là làm nghề thủ công này phải có cần cù mm. nhận nại và tĩnh tâm cái tĩnh tâm quan trọng à, khi làm một cái hoa thì đặt hết cái tâm vào đây mm. thì cái hoa nó mới đẹp à, và bây giờ mời bạn đọc yeah, yeah. Bạn đã bạn đóng rất đẹp. Artisan Tan Van Hui's initiative to make paper lotuses, as we see them now, was first reintroduced in 2008. His professional color dyeing method is the key to the liveliness of this craft. Hoa sen ngày xưa nó không có màu và nó bằng giấy polyester rất là mỏng. Và đó là những yếu tố mà làm cho hoa sen bị mai một. Thì sau khi phục hồi, à, tôi phải tạo dạng lại, đưa màu sắc vào, à, tìm cái thân hoa để trước đây nó không có thân hoa. À, do vậy là tôi phải làm rất là nhiều và suốt trong quá trình trên 10 năm. Thì bây giờ hoa sen giấy à, đã được ưa chuộng trong và ngoài nước. Today, artisan Tan Van Hui welcomed a group of Italian tourists coming to his house by boat. The tranquil vibe of Uncle Hui's house, including the Zen Lotus Garden, has created a very ideal atmosphere for any tourist to enjoy exploring this craft. Many foreign visitors from all around the world, like the Capaccioni family here, have had real hands-on experience of how to make paper lotuses at this place. Uh, was a v beautiful place uh, and uh, was an experience uh, to making the flower with the artist I mean because it is something that uh, is, you are not in a position uh, different from the, what you are seeing but you live within uh, the experience so it's completely different from the other things that uh, we live in in Asia where you are a tourist and there is a barrier in what we are seeing you are living with him uh, thì tôi phải làm thế nào để kết nối với du lịch à, với cái lòng hiếu khách của người Huế, của người Việt Nam nói chung và của gia đình tôi nói riêng. Thì khách đến đây mình xem như những người thân, những người bạn. Có nhiều người ở nửa vòng trời đất và họ đã đăng ký cái điểm như thế này trước đây cả tháng rồi. À, bởi vậy à, cái sức lan tỏa cái du lịch thì nó cũng lan tỏa đến cho làng nghề nó quảng bá cho làng nghề. Artisan Tan Van Hui has come up with various kinds of paper lotuses, including lotus buds and lotus lanterns in different sizes, for both worshipping and decoration. Since being exhibited for the first time at the Hui Festival in 2008, Tan Tian's flowers have now found solid markets around the country. In fact, they're now exported to many countries worldwide. As for myself, I've got something beautiful to keep forever. And that is the end of our program. If you'd like to provide feedback or comment on anything here on Culture Mosaic, please feel free to write us at VTV International at vtv.vn. You can also log on to vtv4.vtv.vn or youtube.com slash vtv4go for more of our program. And don't forget to join us next week for another episode of Culture Mosaic. Goodbye for now.